So, uh, I get this question a lot. Um, and I looked on YouTube and there's all these videos of like crazy excessive camber on BMWs and it's like three degrees. So I'm gonna show you today how to uh, get some real camber on BMWs for cheap too. Uh, I might do front camber video too, I don't know, but today will just be rare, so uh, bear with me. Excuse the fit, man, these are my wheels right now. But uh, this is my girlfriend's car and it has about 11 degrees in the rear right now um i'll also be telling you how to get even more i got up to 14 on my car i'll put in a picture uh here or you can uh see in the thumbnail uh but i'll just be going over a few different methods for camber and also for tow since that's a huge issue on bmws so let me just take this wheel off real quick and I will uh, show you guys what's up. So uh, one of the first things you're gonna need is these eBay camber arms. They run around like $30. Uh, before anybody says anything, I've run these, my girlfriend's run these. I know numerous people that have run these and they've had zero issues uh, obviously you want to keep some threads in uh, so it doesn't snap but as long as you keep maybe 10 or 12 threads in you should be fine uh, these are definitely a must they're the same for e46 e36 and uh, if you want an installation video go look there's a thousand of them so one of the issues with the camber arms is that it pushes the hub out from the rear so when you add camber it gives you a lot of toe in um, so there's a couple ways to uh, negate this toe. Um, one is slotting the upper. I don't know if you could see here, but basically here's the stock hole here. And also in the rear, here's the other stock hole right there. And basically you just get a half inch drill bit, uh, which is about 10 bucks. And you run it through behind uh, where that bolt is so that you can push the top of the hub in further. And it also helps fix the toe. Um, I've done this on both E36 and E46 and the only difference is with the E46 having the cast arms, um, you don't have to slot the front ear. Uh, on the E36, I ran into issues with the ear hitting the back of the brake shield, so I had to uh, cut it a little bit up here, but on E46, you don't have to do that. So with this amount of camber, which is about 11 degrees, uh, you don't have to modify the trailing arm bracket in order to get zero toe. This car is currently at zero toe completely. Um, but obviously, if you start running more camber like my E46 did, uh, you have to do trailing arm brackets, which I'll show you in a second. So as you can see here, I got a stock trailing arm bracket and I got modified trailing arm bracket. So on the stock one, there's this dimple on the outside here. Well, it's on the inside, but like towards the outside of the car. And basically what you wanna do is cut that dimple off and uh, weld in a, a washer here. The one I used was a UAJ washer from Home Depot, that's the size. Uh, but basically you weld it in in place of this stock dimple on the trailing arm and it allows for more movement in the end of the trailing arm bracket to uh, help with your toe. So uh, I got this stock E46 trailing arm here. I think the E36 ones are the same. Uh, but when you add the camber with the camber arms in the rear, it pushes it out, giving you toe in. Uh, and obviously that's bad. You don't get a lot of toe adjustment in these stock camber plates because you only have that much. With, uh, with that amount of camber, it's fine. We were able to zero out the toe um, just with the other methods. But with the amount of camber that my car over there used to have, uh, I needed to make these trailing arm brackets to allow for toe. All right, I apologize. I couldn't do that with one hand. But as you can see, I got the washers in here uh, with the bolt on. And basically this is just pushing the bushing as far to the outside of the car as it can uh, to keep from having toe in and to help the alignment. So that's about it. Uh, cheap way to get rear camber on BMW E36, E46. I'm sure it works on others too. I just haven't done it myself. But uh, if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment. You can DM, DM me on Instagram. 
it's the same as my YouTube name, Cuff Static. But uh, thank you for watching and say no to takeovers.